Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of my Rapid Chess series on chess.com. Let's see if today we can climb up back to our all-time high, which I believe is 1530. So let's search for an opponent. What do we get? I feel like in the morning I find the match a lot quicker. It's evening time at the moment and it takes a while. Okay, we do get an opponent from the United States of America. Queen Pawns opening. Push the C. Develop the knight. Okay. Wow. 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 Wow, wow, wow. Develop the other knight. Why not? And develop the bishop. I can kick the bishop. Is this a move? Not really. Okay. Hmm. Okay, what is that move? Like castle long <laughs> doesn't seem like a good idea. So here, here, he could eventually threaten my queen. Should I e four? E4, yay or nay? Um, I think taking is not very pleasant. I can drop back the bishop. And push. Let's play simple. Yeah, I'm losing a tempo, but... It's not that bad. Okay, if I take, he can take many different ways. Okay, pushing here allows him to take my knight. I feel like I want to take, but I don't think it's a good idea. I think I will take. Or I can push. Problem is, if I push e3, he's just gonna take, ruin my pawns. Here he goes there. It's not good.
I think this is a really bad move, but taking is a really bad move because after he takes, he can attack my knight and pin my knight. So maybe let's stop that, but I'm not really stopping that because my rook is not protected. Okay, he didn't see it, so that's good. I have to push, like, Yes, I'm going to ruin my pawns, but I don't know. Here, here. Maybe I can attack the bishop. Some cheeky chess. Let's attack the bishop. while also hitting the queen. And he saw that. Okay, I could actually just simply take the bishop pair. Okay, and if he castles, maybe we have this move, but it's well protected. Let's bring the rook, line up with the queen on the open file. This is not really a scary move. He can't go here yet. However, this knight is creating some problems. But maybe I can just fear Kato. Actually, I think that's a, that's a good idea. I'll just fear Kato. And then castle. Probably not the best, but good enough. Bishop still can't go there. Knight can't go there. If the knight jumps in, they can kick the knight. Could go here, but it's not so scary. If he castles... Um, actually, this is a move. Wait, isn't this a good move? Because if he attacks my bishop, I take his queen. He has to move the queen, but this is the only square. Then maybe I can take take. I mean, surely it's a good move. I'm attacking his queen twice, actually.
Now, if or he would love to push c5, but then he loses the queen. He doesn't have any intermediate checks either, so one, two, three moves away from castling. It's not ideal, but maybe we're fine. Gonna be fine. Okay, so the idea is after takes takes some cheeky check. Takes takes b4. Okay, I'm giving up a good bishop. Is this a move? Not really. My rook is on the open file, so if I get one, two, three moves in. Okay, I don't have time to protect this pawn, I think. Well, I can actually push if I want to. But then comes the check. So one takes, takes, here, takes, check. Yeah, we're not really in time. Actually, I could block the check with my knight. So it's not so bad. Okay, takes, takes here. Okay, two attackers, two defenders. Is this the idea? Um, I might have a rook sack. I don't know what's the idea. Really don't know what's the idea. This, this shouldn't be too scary. So... But now we have another pin. So after castling, I have tactics again. Like take, take, take. Although it's protected. And this fork, hmm. also queen will be protecting the bishop. But we should be all right. I just need to get castled one move away and then we're pretty safe. Knight here and takes, takes, takes. Could be, could be a threat, but I can just get castled and cashing uh, central e pawn. If he pushes, if he pushes, I can jump here and recapture. I should be fine. Whoa. Whoa, I blinked. Did I miss something? 
Whoa. What a move. I think that uh, Bishop takes. The idea is to push. If I take with the pawn, stopping this pawn from advancing, knight from jumping, queen, and I'm ready to get castled. There's no check. Cool. Rook there is really nice, but it might be too little too late. Now that I'm castled, look at these pawns. They're marvelous. And I'm not going to push this pawn. Take stays, I think, is okay. And we should have some tactics here. Takes, 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 takes. I mean, takes, take. He doesn't have any check. So if I slide the rook. Takes, he can jump here, but I don't see the point. Rook here first. We just take. Yeah, I think I have to take. Um, he's not going to take with the rook or with the queen because I have my bishop. And probably jumping the knight here to be annoying is a better move. I don't think taking is a good idea. Second so pin. And sure, it can go back, but I have pin here as well. So that's like a, a double pin. And I can actually advance the pawn. So the rook is coming after e1. The only annoying move that I see potentially is... Um, Knight to g4. Knight to g4 could be some ideas. And I don't think that's a good move. Because he just has a double pin. Okay, but okay, so takes, 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 takes. If I take, he takes, and I move my rook here, what is he gonna do? Wait, takes, 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 and takes. There's some back rank issues as well. Let me try to figure this out. If we kick the knight, if we kick the knight, he's very weakening. 
what it takes, but it protected twice. So takes takes. I can take with the queen and if the queen takes I can take back with the rook you can't take because of checkmate so take 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 you can't take because of checkmate Take, take, take. If you take with uh, the rook, I take with the rook. That's two rooks for a queen. That's not good enough. But takes, takes. Takes, takes. Rook takes. Rook takes and queen takes. It's complicated. I think this is the way. Take with the bishop and take with the rook. Am I missing something? Does he have any checks? Can't take the queen because of back rank. So simple, but they were so tough to calculate. I guess I'm a bit tired. Um, okay, that's very logical. Takes, takes. Okay, hmm. this check would win. Wait, what about sacrifice? If you take this is checkmate. Right? Take the pawn. He doesn't have any checks. If he takes this is checkmate. Right? <laughs> Can't go there. Wow. But I think I'm going to stop with the brilliant. I think I'm just going to go back and force the queens off or something like that. But what a game.
Okay, does he have any checks? No. So let's pretend that we want to get the pawn, right? Let's pretend that we want the pawn, but we actually want to pin the queen, the king. And that's a bit too little, too late. He does create some luft, but thank you so much for the queen. And now taking doesn't even matter because I take the queen with check. Okay, check. Check. Take. One, two, three. Push. No stalemate. Push. Queen. Check. Check. Check me. What a game. We did have one blunder. But, oh my god, what a game. I wonder if taking the pawn with the queen was a brilliant move. We do have one brilliant move, so let's find which one was it. It was the rook sack. Wow. Oh, oh. So queen pawn, book moves. And e4. I wanted to play e4, at some point it made sense, but it was too late for me, because I would have ruined my pawn structure. So e4 was the best move for the past like 3-4 moves. And I knew taking is not so good. However, a3 is best move, I'm very happy that I found that, and this is a blunder. It's a blunder because, well, I kind oh, I kind of did the same thing, but here he doesn't have the retreating square. So, wow, wow, I didn't really punish the blunder. Wow, this takes away the escaping square for the queen. I guess he can go all the way back, but... Oh, I completely missed that. And Long Castle is the best move. I thought that it was a bit too ambitious. However, this is a great move. And Bishop to b6. And this is absolutely crazy. Bishop to d6. It's a better move. I guess to shuffle around the queen a little bit. But yeah, I just take. B4 is a mistake. Because of e4. But I thought that I will be fine. He misses anyway, and h3 is the best move. I didn't really want to play h3. Um, e4 is still the best move. I play the best move. He takes, and yeah, taking with the bishop is not so good. It's really not good, so I'm happy that taking with the bishop is more natural. Because it tempos the queen, but then you get tempoed back, so 
I did an unnatural but better move and I'm very happy with that. Now we're ready to castle. Taking is the best move. And b5. Okay, b5. I don't see the point of in b5. Um, pinning, I think, is a lot better. And he misses f5. Right? And not only he misses f5, he can't play f5 anymore because the knight is, is uh, stopping that. So I take the knight, he takes back, we just simplify the pieces, right? No, we go to war. We play brilliant rook sacrifice. He takes, which is excellent. I take and this should be the second brilliant case. It's only excellent. But I think it should be a brilliant. So he goes back. This is excellent. And yeah, probably I miss a few checks here and there, but yeah. So Queen takes b7, I think is a brilliant move. But queen to e to e7. Queen to e7 is the best move. Because of the same tactic basically. Which I did later. So yeah. I guess it makes sense, yeah. This he 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 can't avoid losing the queen. So it's a bit more forcing. But here Okay, let's say I go here like I did in the game. Still he cannot avoid losing the queen, so So my move is excellent as well and quite forcing. And now b takes c is a better move. I guess because promoting to a queen is inevitable. And instead of having an extra queen, now I have a queen and a rook. So yeah, I missed some small details but in the end it was good enough so mating 4, mating 3, mating 1 very interesting game I'm happy with my performance so 83% one brilliant move played like a 2000 apparently the opening only 78% this it's said have a blunder but after pressing on a game review, <laughs> the blunder disappeared. So today's match. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. We're only four points away from our all-time high. So we are on a good streak. Take care of yourself. Hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Cha-cha. -bye.